All right, so moving on, continuing forward. I think we're on day 29, if I'm correct, although I may be incorrect, but it's been a chaotic day for me if, if we're including work. But like I've stated, I don't want to include work, so let's just kind of get straight into this. So if we see here, unfortunately, I guess just the same theme in these videos. It's just time. Well, there goes my dog. Time, um, just with my work schedule as a whole, there's just no way I was able to take a photo today. So as unfortunate as it may be, I don't have not, not only a new photo to edit, but not even footage from my Osmo action camera again. Work caught up to me at this point. I think you guys already know what the, what I've kind of stated beforehand as far as how I or if I can if I can take the photo I can take the photo and if not well I just gotta rely on my I just gotta rely on my memory card so which is what I'm doing here now. Granted, actually before we even do any changes I am gonna crop this photo because I took this photo believe it or not while i was moving in my in my vehicle so is that the best or was that the best um was that the best idea maybe maybe not probably not but you know it i think it's still fine and well as i'm looking at it maybe cropping may be a little bit of an issue we have here but i think so far we should be pretty good although if i were to align it maybe Oh my gosh, man. All right, well, let's see if there's anything else that I can crop here. I can make this rather different. Maybe if I were to, if I were to do it right there. All right, we'll just leave it like that. If I need to recrop it later on, then I'll just do that. So with this picture, again, this was relatively in my first stages as with, as with photography that you know i wasn't too much of a pro not that i'm a not that i've made much improvement to begin with but you know i i did this i think this was believe it or not this was relatively one of my very first photos i took in in my with my camera and so then really what's my plan for today i guess um just the usual i really don't have a specific style as far as what I'm trying to accomplish with this photo is just really kind of move around some adjustments, some sliders, see what we can kind of achieve from this and we'll, we'll continue moving on forward again. In a sense, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have much, I guess, much practice with photography, not even just with editing, but just photography as a whole. Cause if we see here, ISO is at roughly 1200. Uh, 30 millimeter, I think this says, what does it say, F8, and we're at 400, one over 400 seconds, which if I, if I wanted to make an actual good shot or make this at least somewhat clear, I should have taken this within the 1 to 1,000, possibly even to the 1 to 2,000 portion, right? Uh, but uh, again, uh, as unfortunate as it may be, that's just what I have. Yeah, but believe it or not, I, I really don't have much else to say as far as with this video. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a little bit more enthusiastic, trying to be a little bit more energetic, like I've stated, because I've been telling you, man, work nowadays have just been really kind of a pain in the ass for me. That not saying that I don't want to do this, but it makes it or the 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 will to do this just makes it a little bit more difficult but anyways i don't even want to get into that so as i've been kind of going through my memory cards which is probably something that i've been doing more recently than than ever before right i tend to look at the 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 photos i used to take back then as far as with i guess we could make the um i guess we could make the i guess we could make the the, the argument that I was kind of going towards reflections, although if we were to to kind of look back at the the original photo, uh, again, if I was able to go out and actually explore this at this time, then it would have been 
it would have been or the photo could have turned out relatively better i know a couple weeks later after i took this photo i actually went back to the same place and actually decided on taking photos but it, uh, it, at this time it was re between september october it was during the time period that uh fall was right around the corner and there wasn't much life to to this area so in all fairness the photos that i did end end up taking didn't serve me well enough considering the fact that like i've stated all of this was dead there was no green at all to begin with really as unfortunate as that may be um it is what it is hopefully in this now that we're in the springtime yet again hopefully i should be able to come back here sooner and hopefully try to try to retake another photo so then that way here i don't have just this one to to work on but nonetheless like i've like i've been trying to say i'm trying to get more into the a creative mindset as far as you know trying to become more have a photographer's eye and what do i mean by that well i i like i've kind of i kind of stated it last video i need to start looking at things differently as far as i need to start looking at it from a different perspective not not the typical not the typical way as how others would see it but i need to look at it in through another set of lens another set of eyes maybe and just really anything right because what i what i do find myself kind of struggling just a little bit although it could be a lot but just a little bit is that I, I still, as I'm traveling from place to place on my job, as I'm traveling, I still find it very difficult for me at the moment to see what opportunities or what I can capture that can make an interesting video for here for you guys and then an interesting photo to edit. Although I'm roughly 30 days in in this journey and don't get me wrong this journey has already kind of has definitely taught me a lot of things as far as with editing photography and then maybe video a little bit I think I'm still not I'm still not there and what I mean by that what I mean by that is, is really although 30 days in for this journey roughly 30 days in or we're closing in on 30 days don't get me wrong it's good yeah, I'm very happy on that I still feel like we still have many many more days many many probably even weeks and hell maybe even many more months for me to actually go ahead and say you know what I think I've done enough as far as with this journey right again well like I've stated this journey was kind of for me to track my progress track my progress as far as with photo editing video editing who knows right so and especially since i've i, I like to from time to time just go back to my older videos and just look at you know from where i've started what photos i've edited um in the past i always tend to like i always like to look back and see where i've where I've started and although I do generally like how I'm heading towards I, again I still need to find I need to find like that missing piece I guess I really need to find that missing piece that uh, in some way shape or form I'm missing and what will be that missing piece just really looking at the world through a different set of eyes or a, through a different perspective not the same perspective as many other or as probably the typical people would see it, right? I think once I am able to master that, and really this kind of goes for anyone that, that wants to do photography, right? You gotta have, you gotta have a different perspective of things. Although for some people, it may be pointless or simple, you know, for, for others, hell, it may be like interesting, right? I don't know all i'm saying is that I, I really need a lot of more work for me personally and i'm mostly just saying this for myself but if this also goes for anyone that wants to start in photography i gotta start learning 
as far as looking at the world and seeing the world through a different set of lens and kind of take that joke but anyways through a different set of lens a set of eyes and another perspective so then that way here although with simple things as i don't know whatever the case may be and with photo editing you may come up with something rather unique for just a simple photo right but anyways We've done the, the majority of the, our normal adjustments as far as with color mixer, tone curve, color grading. Color grading, I'm kind of in the balance as far as if I did a good job or not. What I'm probably just going to be do, uh, what I'm probably just going to do is just probably going to add in a mask. Probably saturate the, the blue a little bit. Although I'm kind of in the balance of that. But as far as with right now, let's just see what we kind of have so far with Okay, yeah, the, the biggest change so far is that this photo was kind of relatively heavily overexposed, a grand portion of it. And now we kind of decreased it, kind of balanced it, maybe add in a few touches with the, with the colors here and there. I think overall we did a pretty good job. Now, we are probably going to do what I just finished on saying as far as making the sky, eh, I wouldn't say a little bit underexposed. But at the same time, I don't want to overexpose it. So quite frankly, we may just frankly, just a tiny bit, just ever so subtle, underexpose it. Maybe if we raise up some contrast here, maybe how if we raise up the temperature, although that kind of doesn't look pretty good. How maybe even raise up a saturation, maybe just a little bit. We may be going a little bit overboard, but I think we're going somewhere. Let's see, with whites. Now the problem that I'm also seeing here, and I kind of at that point I kind of can't do anything, as because since I was taking this while my truck was moving, kind of can't do anything. But I think if I'm correct, I zoom in here. These portions, it may just be clouds, or I may just be looking at it wrong. But I'm roughly 70% sure that these are reflections from my truck. As fortunate as it may be. Uh, we, we, at this point, we just kind of got to leave it and just leave it as it is. Uh, I can't do much, but although I could have gone on to Photoshop and maybe altered it. And, you know, I actually believe it or not, now that I brought up the, the, the topic of, about Photoshop, you know, I have gotten a comment in a previous video. I can't remember which video it was, but anyways, I got in a comment as far as, you know, using Photoshop beforehand, you know, kind of altering the photo beforehand, maybe making a few adjustments and then from Photoshop to Lightroom. You know, as I look at it, it, it may not actually be, it may not be a bad idea as far as utilizing Photoshop because that's just another set of, that's just another application that I've so far, I have, I um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm paying the, the, the subscription, the photography subscription of Adobe that allows me to use Photoshop and Lightroom so maybe, I don't know, maybe soon, maybe soon, maybe not, I'm not sure, but maybe, maybe sometime in the future, maybe I might start including Photoshop tutorials, no, look, and retract, rephrase, I don't mean by tutorials, but just Photoshop screen recordings, I don't want to say tutorials, because me, myself, I would still need to look at tutorials as far as how Photoshop works. Granted, the last time I used Photoshop really at all was back when I was in high school, when I was taking this class as far as with, I think it was with marketing, I don't know. But we utilized Photoshop a lot. And may I say, I, I think I was pretty damn good with it, but unfortunately I lost my, I lost my, my touch with Photoshop. And it's been a couple of years since I've utilized it. So it's gonna be definitely a hassle as far as, you know, relearning all the tools that Photoshop has to offer and then seeing what can I utilize Photoshop's to better improve my photos, right? But as it stands, maybe as it stands, Photoshop is probably going to be nothing that is probably going to be something that I'm just not yet. I'm just not yet gonna, gonna cross over right now because granted, there's a lot of things I want to do at the moment as far as with this journey and, and I'm kind of also trying to plan ahead what's my what's going to be the future with this. But I just kind of want to keep it simple. I kind of want to 
don't get it. I, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to overcomplicate things. So I'm just probably just going to leave it as it is. So anyways, now that we finished talking about that, believe it or not, I don't want to say that's it, but uh, I think we did a pretty good job with balancing a little bit of the sky. Um, if we were to hide the changes, relatively overexposed roughly. And then just like I've stated, just really lowering the exposure, maybe a little bit too much. If we were to slightly raise in, maybe I think that would be better. Maybe also decrease in saturation because I don't want it too much. Although as I'm looking at it, I was going to say that we're done, but you know, as I'm looking at it, maybe, maybe what we could do is, okay, is that for the better? I, I don't want to overdo it too much because I don't want to overdo it. And as I'm seeing here on my highlights for the, my histogram, it looks like we're doing, we're probably doing it a lot. So if I were to delete that, if I were to maybe decrease highlights, that's going to be towards green. So maybe just slightly. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. All right. Is it relatively better? Maybe, maybe not, but I personally like how it is. And I don't want to say really that's it, but I think as far as with this one, I don't know what else masks we have. What does color range do? I'm not sure. But believe it or not, I think that's really just going to be it. Again, if uh, what I like to do, which is probably going to be the normal for these videos, I like to just afterwards, if I believe that I'm done, it's like to take a few minutes to kind of analyze and see if there's anything else I can add on to this photo. That's what I personally like on doing. So for right now, I'm just going to see, I'm going to sit back and analyze and see if there's any other changes or any corrections that I need to make for this photo. And if there's nothing else, then well, I guess we'll call it a day for this video then. All right, so believe it or not, I did some changes. Uh, I was going through the cropping section. I wanted to see if there was any other changes or any other additional things I can change or alter. And believe it or not, the way how I have it, I actually personally like how it is better. Now, I just remember something. Normally with these videos, before I even start recording, I like to, I like to kind of save the raw photo. So I include it on every single video, as you guys probably have been seeing over the past couple of videos. However, I just realized I forgot that. So I'm gonna try to find my, I'm gonna try to find a way to bring the, the original raw photo. If not, unfortunate as it may be, this video may just only include the edited photo, but that really won't serve any purpose. But anyways, so really the only change I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can try to make this a little bit more to kind of highlight it. Well, that's unfortunate. So we're probably just gonna have to or you know what, we can do this. We'll do this. Okay, no, no background. All right, that's not, all right, well, we'll do this. Where is it that we can invert? All right, there you go. That's what I was trying to look for. All right, so I don't, with this, I don't want to overdo it. I just really want this. So we would, in a way, raise up maybe just the blacks. But at the same time, I don't want to do it. So, you know what? what probably I'm going to have to look for is maybe just raising, leaving it like that. Or maybe if I were to go to turn tone curve, raise up the blacks a little bit. Okay, does that make a little difference? I think so, and believe it or not, I think I actually personally like that. I don't want it to be too over dark. But yeah, believe it or not, I actually liked how that came out. So we're gonna leave it like that. And uh, unfortunate as it may be, although I'm kind of, really kind of going back and forth with this one, believe it or not, I think that is personally gonna be it. Again, not too much with this photo, and that's kind of been the normal theme with these videos more recently, especially given the fact that I haven't been able to really go out, take photos and really record the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes that I'm trying to accomplish 
what I've or that what I've at least said not too long ago as far as that I'm trying to have a behind the scenes of the behind the scenes of me capturing actually capturing the photo that I'm editing right because you know for me personally as I say I actually really like that I include that that special video or that extra clips and I, I hope you guys also enjoy it because it gives me a sense of for me it, it makes me feel like you guys are more informed and I guess more kind of like in my eyes as far as you know what I'm doing to capture these moments to capture these photos and then and then after I'm done showing you guys those clips, then you guys can see me right now just editing the photo, right? Personally, for the two videos I did it so far, I felt really good about myself. Again, that is definitely something I'm going to try to work towards. But uh, unfortunately, that's just not going to always be the case. As, as sad as that may be, that's just always not going to be the case. So, I mean, believe it or not, uh, the changes, don't get me wrong, I, I, I very much like them. Is it the the photo that we that I intended on editing today? To be honest, not really. I was just scrolling through my memory card, but I, I think overall I did pretty good. You know, like I've stated, the original raw photo it was mostly consistent of a, a combination of overexposure, maybe not too much color and saturation. And now with the edited photo, we kind of balanced all three of them in a way. Maybe did some crop-ins, although we were kind of we're kind of doubting as far as you know what 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 scene of the photo i was gonna pick but i think overall i kind of liked how this one came out so not too much to to complain about again hopefully sometime soon it's especially now that summer's starting to appear and the and life with the trees and and all around is starting to come back to, to life hopefully someday in the future i can come back to the same location and actually do a well, I guess a POV or just really a behind the scenes of what photo I'm going to decide on capturing, at least for that for that video, right? Hopefully, because this was relatively a nice location spot, it's unfortunate that this one, the one that I edited today, was the one that I had to choose. But again, hopefully for some time in the future, I can capture a better photo. So then that way here, you guys can actually see how beautiful this this lake is because it really was beautiful. But other than that, I really don't got much else to say. Again, kind of short video, but then again, I don't know how much time we're at, but I'll try to keep it relatively short as I try to do with all my other videos. But other than that, I really don't got much else to say. Uh, I thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow, hopefully with the POV and with uh, a good photo to add it on. So I only pray on that, please, God, please, I ask for 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 me to give for you to give me just one opportunity that's all i ask but other than that i thank you all so much for watching and i'll be seeing you guys tomorrow